Hey, welcome back to another book review. Hope you're reading well. Today we're going to talk about Design is Art by Bruno Munari. This is a fun read for the general public, but I would not recommend it for contemporary artists or designers. This one needs an introduction so you can understand my perspective. I had a very strong reason for buying this book. I'm a neuroscientist that's working to improve the design of science diagrams. I also make abstract art pieces about brain anatomy, and at the time of reading this book, I was collaborating with an art student to build the first anatomically scaled wire sculpture of a human brain cell, and we took inspiration by an art piece made by this author, Bruno Monari, that is described in the preface for this book. Useless Machines was a wire sculpture showing the beauty of a precise mathematical construction could displace the need for narrative in the visual aesthetic of a sculpture. Given that our sculpture clearly aligns with useless machines, both I and the art student read this book for inspiration in the design of our sculpture, but we came away lacking with any new ideas or insight. Bruno Minari was an industrial designer concerned with the aesthetic of mass-produced commercial items such as household objects which have clear functions rather than purely aesthetic pieces. I think Minari's principles for industrial design in this book are very similar to those that Ayn Rand made for architecture in The Fountainhead, being that the best aesthetic of a physical form which has a function is the aesthetic which best facilitates that function for its users. Designer's art provides fantastic overviews with very few words. The preface shows how modern art discarded narrative and left it to literature. Then in the era of modern art, visual aesthetic displaced the need for narrative in an art piece. This made me reflect. I think this is why modernist literature became very realist. It took on the burden of providing narrative for society, and postmodern literature became very much like modern art in discarding, discarding narrative for pure abstract aesthetic. This gave me an epiphany that perhaps narrative moves perpetually between literature and between art, such that at any given time point in a given society, when there's a contemporary trend, for abstract art, there will be a contemporary trend for realist literature, and vice versa. Perhaps realism is never at once contemporary. There is a dynamic between art and literature for realism that allows for evolution. Design is Art is a pretty book. It begins as a wonderful, light, fun, novelty read. It has above a 4 star average rating on Goodreads, so there's a good chance you're going to like it more than I did. The book has five distinct sections, design, visual design, graphic design, industrial design, and research design. The section on industrial design is strong, given Munari's background, but the sections on graphic design and research design are pretty weak, and you'll find much better elsewhere. This book was written in the 60s, so it will be unhelpful for postmodern digital art forms which emerged way after it. This was before the home computer. However, this book would be a brilliant gift for teenagers enthusiastic about art or design. This book would also be good for art teachers as it's refreshingly down to earth, simple, cool, effective at communicating to a public audience. So it's great on that front. It's super fun and engaging as well. It'll help you think outside the box. But I wouldn't recommend designer's art to university level students or lecturers as it's just not deep enough and it's too dated to be relevant to contemporary art and design. This is unlikely to be helpful to contemporary independent artists or designers as well. Each chapter is three more fantastic pages on a new thing. Good design is what lets us know that these are all faces. This is a lamp. These are all chairs. But if books are, this book was designed to be read on the toilet or to die forever on a coffee table. It's a book for skimming. I don't think this book was made for a bookcase. It's made for picking up, reading for a few minutes, and putting down again. This is a reference book that is sadly too shallow to be useful to the people that need it. This book is neither as daunting or intellectually stimulating as it appears. 
This is published before computer-assisted design was mainstream, which means it really lacks relevance to modern day. While this book really helps you integrate what you already know about design, it teaches you very little that's new, and you come away from it not remembering something new or exciting about design. Some of its principles are also not generalizable, and so they don't really inspire creativity, but they do prevent major mistakes. There's also so much about bamboo I was beginning to feel like a panda. This book tells you what good design is, but not really how or why. Good designs are purchased, and the book dryly tells you what sells and what doesn't sell. The book is its own sales pitch, and if you buy it, it is one. And that's okay, so long as you're buying it for style, or as a relic from the past, but not for knowledge, and not to help you with design. Happy reading.